Welcome to G Tips Beauty Company, where we serve you glam on a silver platter. Hey, glam babes, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I mix and pack this wholesale order. It's an unscented, uncolored sugar scrub base. This sugar scrub base, it is the exact same base that I use in all of my sugar scrubs and I use it for my wholesale orders as well for those who want to start their own beauty business. Let's get started. So first I got this mixer. I got this mixer right off of Amazon. I don't have big industrial products. This is what I use. I got everything off of Amazon, including this mixer, this kitchen scale, and everything else I'm about to show you, such as these nice size beakers that are durable and heat safe that I use to measure out all my products. I've got some rubber spatulas, and I've also got some of these stainless steel mixing cups as well. Now I'm going to be measuring out the sugar. I like to measure out all of my ingredients before I mix them up into one big bowl. And now I have my beaker on the scale. I tear my scale back to zero to ensure that my measurements are proper. And now I'm going to be measuring out the sugar. Now for this scrub recipe, I'm using 70% sugar, 30% oil. And you can tweak that how you please. You may add more sugar, you may add more oil. It kind of just depends on your scrub preference. I prefer my scrub to be a little bit more thicker in consistency. So occasionally I will add more sugar, but when I'm generally making my formulations or writing my recipes, it's usually 70, 30. Sometimes I'll cut it down to 80, 20 if I want to make a more thicker scrub or if I'm noticing that when I pour my sugar into my oil, sometimes your sugar will dissolve and sometimes you will have to go back in depending on if the sugar is not like a coarse sugar, if it's like a granulated sugar right from Walmart, sometimes you will have to add more sugar depending on your consistency and what you and your customers like the best. So now I'm just measuring out the sugar here. Now that I've measured out the desired amount of sugar that I'll need for this batch of scrubs, I'm going to measure out my oils. Now I did measure out my oils off camera before we got started. So they're in, they are in this smaller container, but I am gonna measure them again by putting my beaker on the scale. I'm gonna tear my scale to zero so that it shows zero grams. And I'm gonna transfer my oil over to my glass beaker here to remeasure the oils now that I've got everything melted and heated but I also want to show you guys the super cool step of how I weigh my oils along with my sugars. Next, I'm gonna throw in my luxury oils. Luxury oils are like your rose oil. Maybe you add vitamin E oil, argan oil, Jehovah oil, whatever your luxury oils are, you can measure those out and add those once you've weighed out your oils. And now I've got my sugar in my oil and I'm about to add it to the mixer. I do add it to the mixer to ensure everything is mixed consistently throughout the sugar. Sometimes you can mix it by hand, but I prefer to put it in the mixer first to ensure it gets that first couple good seconds of really good mixing throughout the scrub. Now you can use an emulsion blender, but I feel like the one that I have sometimes isn't strong enough for the sugar. So I am putting it in my mixer here. These baby hands that you see, they're my daughter. I did have her help me with the scrubs because I do like to have her help me make products. Yes, she doesn't have gloves on. It's totally okay. She's not measuring any ingredients for those who are like, oh, she doesn't have gloves on. Oh, she's contaminating. Look, she's touching the bottom of the beaker. Okay, she's touching the bottom of the container. It's totally okay. I've had gloves on the entire time and I've also switched my gloves numerous times off camera. 
gave it a few mixes off the camera and now this is what i've got i added some sugar as well because the sugar that i added it started to dissolve a tad bit so i wanted to make it more thick now i'm going to mix it with my hands now that I've mixed it with my hands, I mixed it off camera as well. Y'all, you just mix it up. Mix it like you mix a cake, right? You fold it in. And now I'm adding it to this storage safe container. This allows me to make a big batch of my scrub base and I transfer it to a storage container so that way I can access scrub base as I need it. This scrub base is unscented. However, I did add the preservative so that it is safe for storage. It does have, I would say about three to six months shelf life and it could potentially go longer, but you know, you definitely want to use your cosmetics as soon as you get them, um, making them last that long, unless it's like pure butters that have like a year shelf life or something of that sort. You kind of want to use your lotions and your scrubs and things within three to six, nine months. You know, you never really want to have your scrub for a year because it's literally going to get hard and icky so anywho but it, it can last that long because of the preservative that we put in there you know it can last that nine to 12 months if you just have it sitting in the counter under the cabinet which is okay too because a lot of people get different scrub scents and they don't use them all at once so it's it's totally okay it's totally your preference but now i'm adding the scrub base to a larger container so that does have a top with it so that i can just put the top on it and I can put it on my shelf and I don't have to keep making these big batches all the time. I can scoop it as I need, add my fragrance, my colorant and go. If I'm packing a wholesale order, which is what I'm doing now, I just put it in a um, smaller container and I weigh it out um, as needed. So this is a two quart container that I got right from Walmart. Um, I clean it off camera and I labeled it off camera. so. Um, I'll show that process in another video of how I package wholesale orders as far as doing my labels and packaging. But now I'm going to put the container on the scale, tear it to zero, and I'm also going to weigh it as I'm pouring it. Because with wholesale orders, I want to ensure that when my client goes to measure her eight ounce scrubs or her four ounce scrubs in grams, it matches up. You know, you don't want to make a wholesale order for eight, eight ounce scrubs and it's less than a thousand grams in the container. And now your client is calling you like, hey, there's not enough in here. So I make sure that I have the exact calculated. I go my eight ounces, I convert them to grams. I multiply that by the number that we need. And those are the required grams needed for the scrub base. I do those measurements and then I add additional scrub. I add additional scrub because sugar can melt. When you're transferring, you lose some scrub, right? So my client is gonna be pouring out of this scrub base into another container. They're gonna add their colorant and their fragrance and then they're gonna pour it into another container. So by that time, there's potential scrub and oil loss. So I always, always, always add more than what they asked for. I always add more than what they asked for because I want them to be able to fulfill their order. They also maybe wanna do some sample products, but I also wanna make sure that they have enough of their wholesale order to complete the job. I never want anyone calling me saying they didn't get enough or they don't have enough of the unscented scrub base to complete their wholesale order. That's never, never good. It's never something that I wanna do because when I'm doing your wholesale orders, I'm formulating for your business. So I never want your business to come up short. I never want you to have inconveniences or challenges in your business because of something that I did. So I always pack more than enough and I always weigh it when I'm packing it. So now everything is done. I'm going to be adding these jars, um, the wholesale options to my website very soon. So be on the lookout for that. For those who want to start their own brand, but don't want to go through the hassle of formulating or mixing the products, packaging the products, I do labels as well. So if you are interested in that, you can always message me on the side and we can work something out. We can set up a consultation so that we can get you started on your very own beauty business.
So I'm all done here. I'm just going to be in the next few steps showing you how I put the top on and I wrap it in saran wrap and I also tape it to ensure that it's completely sealed and not going to have any leakage or spilling as I'm transporting it to the customer. The customer may not decide to use it right away. They may store it themselves. So my next goal is to ensure that it's completely sealed tight so that there is no leakage, spilling, or contaminants getting inside your sugar scrub base. There's also ingredient listed on the back and there's information on what to do with the product if you're a consumer and what to do with the product if you're a seller. Now I'm wrapping it in some saran wrap. Like I said, I like to make sure it's completely sealed so that there's no spilling, no contaminants getting on the inside. Like I want your wholesale order to be perfect as if it's mine that I'm doing for my business. I treat it the exact same with the exact same love and passion. So now I'm going to be showing you how I box this order up as well. She is wrapped so pretty and sealed so tight. I just absolutely love it. Now, the way I'm going to be boxing up this order, I'm going to be boxing it vertically because I don't want that spillage or leakage, like I said. And because this is an order that I'm going to be dropping off in my community to the local vendor, the box itself, it wasn't big enough. It wasn't my desired box as if I would be shipping it um, using our local carrier. So I'm going to kind of just strategically put this in there. I'm going to tape it up. I'm going to use all my shipping paper. Now this box is a horizontal flat box, but I have it turned vertically and I'm going to put some this side up stickers on it to ensure that everyone knows that, you know, which way it should be facing. It shouldn't be turned sideways so that your um, contaminants don't spill. She got the order and she added on the jars jars are two dollars a piece so we added on the jars to this order as well and i'm just strategically packing them in the box and i'm about to tape and seal this box up so that I, we can go and make these deliveries This cosmetic cookbook contains ingredient information, product information, how to use, label information, instructions, a lot of information for our vendors if they're first starting out their business and they need some ideas or product information. And now I'm going to be slapping all the stickers on here. I need everyone to know that it is going this side up. I need everyone to know which way this box faces. As you all know, I did have my daughter helping me with deliveries today because this is going to be her business when I'm done. Thank you for tuning in. We packed this amazing wholesale order for our wholesale cosmetic vendor. If you yourself are looking to start your own beauty business, please reach out. We have different wholesale options available and I would love to help you all start your own beauty brand. See you glam babes on our next video.